On the news tonight, Anambra government restates resolve to enforce laws against illegal mining dredging. New ABS MD Moloko resumes duty at Shaw's speedy, speedy repositioning. Stakeholders join government in urging riverine communities to relocate. Here's a special message. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra city economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and welcome to the evening news. My name is Uche Chukwu Ebonam. The Anambra State Government, through Operation Clean and Healthy Anambra Ocha Brigade, has vowed to enforce laws against the illegal mining and dredging, as well as uh, pr pr uh, prosecute those violators in the state. The managing director of the brigade, Comrade Celeste Nanera, made the promise at Bridgehead on Echa, where he added that the agency had commenced a visitation exercise across the state. Correspondent Chibuzo Obidike filed the report. Some of the areas visited are Second Niger Bridge in Onecha, Nibo in Oka South local government area, where the brigade arrested the falters and resealed off their illegal premises. According to Comrade Anere, the exercise comes on the heels of reports by residents that illegal sand mining activities have recommenced in the areas without the provision of the requisite approvals from the state government. The Ocha Brigade boss pointed out that the exercise is part of the agency's drive as directed by Governor Chukwu Masoludo to rid the state of illegal miners and reduce the devastating effects of their activities on the environment. He asked the citizenry to always call the agency on 0706 0806-968-0112, 0812-255-4530, 0806-969-5398, 081-203-56133 to make complaints. The new managing director and Umbra Broadcasting Service, Mr. Christopher Omoloko, has assured in the Anambra South East Region, Nigeria, of a world-class media organization that will compete with its contemporaries globally. Mr. Omoloko stated this while receiving the handover note from his predecessor, Sir Chido Bidego, at ABS Corporate Headquarters. In Oka, correspondent Chibuzo Obidike was there and now reports. Moloku assumes duty few days after his appointment by Governor Soludo and the redeployment of Mr. Chido. Receiving the handover note, Mr. Moloku, who thanked Sachido for the success he recorded during his time at the hems of affairs of the organization, assured that he will hit the ground running to turn ABS around, as he is optimistic that ABS is blessed with lots of talents and potential to excel. He said he will operate an open-door policy and will work on partnership to realize the governor's vision for the organization. I expect us to work as a team and achieve results and we'll move forward. I've never been one to shy away from responsibility. I have always met responsibility on my full chest. And I hope to do the same here. Delivering his handover speech, Sachido appreciated Governor Saludo for the opportunity to serve Ndianambra and acknowledged the giant support received from management, staff, and the Saludo-led administration and expressed optimism that Mr. Moloku will bring about dynamism and youthful drive to modernize the establishment. I want to give God the glory that I walked in strong and I'm walking out stronger. I walked in happy and I'm walking out happier because at all times when you walk into a place and it's work that you have come to do, strive to leave it better than you met it. In a vote of thanks, the Director of Legal Services, Barista Juliet Amasiato, acknowledged the station is in mixed feelings, receiving the new Mr. Moloku and bidding farewell to Sachido and assured of the full support of staff and management to the new managing director. We'll give you our best cooperation in a way that ABS will move forward. We'll thank our outgoing MD. We'll miss you. So we wish you the best. The new MD will welcome you. I'm 
Residents of Amudo Umuchi Ukulobia in Nagoatuleku government area will now have sign relief over the yearly flooding that normally forced them out of their houses as an embracid government has taken the flood control project to a higher level. Ibias was correspondent in Gozobliri, who monitored pace of the work on the Ukulobia flood control project. Phase 1 reports that massive work was ongoing at the site. Our report. The Tamad Construction Company, the firm handling the project, we are seen casting deep drainage on one side of the road with materials readily available for them to use. Speaking on the development, the managing director of the construction company, Mr. Tony Madi, said that they started work 45 days ago and has already covered almost one kilometer out of the 1.128 kilometers road. Yeah, we start like uh, one month and a half, like 40 days ago. We achieved till now like 300 meters of uh, channel, big channel, uh, in to in, um, 2.5 by 3 meters. Yes, we achieved like 300, 300 from one kilometer of uh, channel. And we are working, we are working. Some residents of the area, Mrs. Jonas Ezobi and Dochuku Ezudafo, while lamenting their experience on the road, decried how they lose their livestock during rainy season and what they spend whenever they come back home after the rains. They expressed appreciation to Governor Chuku Masoludo for coming to their aid and pledged total support to his administration. <laughs> Before now, when it rains, 911 cannot cross here. But um, today we are seeing a phase of solution at work. I mean, everybody now can sleep with two eyes. And they are commending the governor for his uh, magnanimous uh, love. He has for this uh, Kulobia town, especially this community in particular. From Amudo Umuchi, a Kulobia flood control project, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News. Still to come in the news tonight, stakeholders join government in urging riverine communities to relocate. Governor Chugu Masoludo has come for a total around maintenance of the unembraced economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. The news returns shortly after the break. I'm in love. Hey, hey, mommy. What? Sonia Tomato Mix, stand up, Oh. Sonia Tomato Mix, stand up, Is it too open? Is it too squeeze? Is it too scoop? And is it too star? It should come alive with so much taste. Tomato mix in a new stand up pouch. Welcome back to the rest of the news. More stakeholders have joined the state government in urging residents of River Rhine communities to relocate ahead of predicted flooding in the state. Speaking in Orca, the Vice President of Hanez and Evil Worldwide, Chidevi and Okeko Gene, commended the proactive measures initiated by the, Chukuma, by the governor of Chukuma Solido's government so far. Chief Okeko Gene urged privileged individuals to, con to complement efforts of the state government towards preventing devastation and loss of life and property by the predicted flooding this year by assisting those in danger to locate in view of biting economic hardship in the country. He regretted that the federal government has not done enough to provide permanent solutions to the challenges of flooding across the country over the years, noting that building of modern dams in various parts of the world of the country could help contain excess water during flooding and reduce the impact. Chief Okeko Gene enjoined contractors handling road projects to ensure that drainages are uh, terminated at proper discharge points, noting that sustained efforts towards opening up and desilting drainages will ensure free flow of water without overflowing our roads with threatened life and property. Also speaking, an advocate chieftain, Dr. Mike Omenoa, said incessant flooding in the country has become a source of, in of concern, noting that Anambra has lost a lot of human and material resources to flood in the past, urging people living in riverine communities to hear the call by the state government and 
prepare to relocate, especially elderly people and children, to safer grounds ahead of the flooding to avoid casualties. The chairman of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Abga in Anambra East Local Government Area, Chief Joseph M. Kualo, says Governor Chukuma Saludi has performed tremendously well in both human and infrastructural development of the state. Uh, Chief Emeka Kualo, who made this known in his Umoba Nam country home, noted that the administration of Governor Chukuma Saludu has lived up to the expectations in terms of delivering dividends of democracy within the, his two years in office. He explained that the current administration in the state is diligently delivering good governance in Anambra, which he said make, making their party popular in the state, some Southeast and Nigeria in general. The Anambra East Abga chairman commended the governor for his One Youth Two Skill initiative, free antenatal and delivery for mothers and pregnant women, free basic education, and the realization of the state water scheme. According to Chief Emeka Yakual, the construction and ongoing construction of over 400 kilometers of roads across the 21 local government areas of the state is a testament to the governor's promise of building a livable, secure, and prosperous homeland for the Anambra. He therefore urged in the Anambra to continue with their support to the Saludo led administration to enable it to continue to implement its blueprint. Before we go tonight, remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS TV from any parts of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at ABS Television. Okay. On X, formerly Twitter, we are ABS Radio TV. On Instagram, we are ABS Radio TV. You can log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. Now on the main point, that made the news again. Alhambra government has restated resolve to enforce laws against illegal mining dredging. New ABS MD Moloku has resumed duty, assures PD repositioning. And finally, we told you the stakeholders have joined government in urging River Rhine communities to relocate. To end the news, here is a special message again. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for the total around maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's all on the news tonight. My name is Uche Chuku Ibunam. Thank you so much for seeing with us tonight. Good night. <laughs>